Welcome back. Okay, so today we have this bold purple eyeshadow look. It's a bit of a halo eye. So I really, really like how this turned out. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. So I'm starting out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base. You guys know I love this stuff. And I'm actually using one of my new Dalium brushes to apply it. It's one of the Phase 3 HD brushes, the 788. But I'm still going in with a sponge to kind of blend it out on my eyelid. So first shadow I pulled from this Glam Light Wine Palette. Beautiful purple color story. It's this super light shade called Earthy. And when I started applying, I was like, oh, this is really, really light. But actually, it's pretty true to the color that's in the pan. It is a super, super light purple shade. As you can see, I'm just tapping that in my crease using another one of my Dalium brushes. This one is a small tapered blending brush. And I'm just blending that out, blending that out in the crease because, you know, I like to kind of layer my shades so next i'm going into the abh norvina and i'm using the shade d4 this is the pro volume 5 i believe the gorgeous beautiful purple palette that i fell in love with when she came out with it now i'm using a fluffier brush for this this is a tapered blending brush the 785 and i'm just gently applying that color in my crease but i want to make sure it's nicely blended with that first shade because it's so light i want it to warm up that purple a little bit before i go deeper and this brush is really really nice for that soft blending giving you that soft shadow application i really like it so i'm going back into the wine palette and i'm grabbing this super dark shade vintage this shade is one that I really, really wanted to make sure and use because I knew it was going to be the anchor for this purple eye look. It's super deep, super dark, highly pigmented, easy for me to blend. I didn't really have any issues blending it. I did have to go on top and apply it a couple of times just to get it to, you know, have that full opacity of that deep, dark purple. But as you can see, I'm just applying it in the inner and outer corners, gently blending out the edge with those other purple shades just to kind of frame up my eye for this halo eye. And as you can see here, that fluffier Dalium brush is really working nicely to blend out those edges. Now, during the holiday sales, I decided to try out some items from Be Beats by Deb. Um, she does these beautiful, colorful eye looks, and she has this everything glue that she says you can use for not only lashes, but shimmers, glitters, rhinestones, you know, all kind of stuff. So I decided to try it out with this shimmer. As you saw, I pulled the shade Fruity out of that wine palette. Oh my gosh, that shimmer is gorgeous. And just started tapping it on top of that glue. I wasn't sure if it would end up creasing during the day or ended up kind of gunky or caked up and it did not surprisingly it did not that shimmer stayed exactly where I put it it's absolutely gorgeous at the end of the night when I took my makeup off it was not all cakey and gunky like I thought it might get using that glue so it is a thinner formula of glue so I can see why it will work nicely now it was here when I realized that this tutorial was not going to go according to plan honey we had a whole blackout it was raining the power completely went out whole neighborhood i don't know if it was a whole city but honey whole neighborhood just blacked out y'all the power done went out in my whole house okay it's raining 
it's raining just like regular rain out here in California. It's not like storming or thundering and lightning and all that stuff. <sighs> but child, whole power done went out. So I have no light or anything up in here. I had to come over here by the window so I could try to get a little bit of light from this window and finish my face and my complexion. <sighs> it's like, if it wasn't really happening, this would be like hilarious. I would not believe it if somebody told me. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this complexion. Dog is howling at who knows what. But I'm gonna try to finish this complexion in this little bit of light. I think I have some battery powered lights that I can use. Hold on. So y'all, <laughs> we just gonna move on like nothing happened, okay? So here I'm just applying some liquid black eyeliner from NYX. I've been using this black eyeliner from NYX for years. It's a matte black and it has a brush applicator. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up with my eyeliner, throw on some lashes. So now I'm moving forward with my base. I'm using this Fourth Ray Thirst Aid Hydrating Priming Moisturizer. I have to say, it actually feels very, very nice. Um, very nice moisturizer if you like that type of a primer situation. So I will continue to use it and give you guys my full thoughts. So as usual, I'm just going in with my Essence Concealer and I'm just trying to work on these dark circles a bit using my small sponge today to apply that. I don't know. It really depends on how I feel as far as how I <laughs> apply my cream products. Sometimes I like using a sponge. Sometimes I like using a brush. Usually if I'm more concerned with coverage, I'll go in and blend things out with a brush. But if I'm just kind of chilly chill and not stressing out about coverage, I'll go ahead and use my sponge, you know, cause it's easier and quicker sometimes. So yeah, so for foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible. Haven't used this in a while. And so, so glad I did because it just kind of reminded me that I actually do really like this foundation. It did last all day all day i had really nice coverage and i wore a mask for a few hours as well with this foundation on and my powder and all that good stuff so yeah i really really enjoyed using this foundation now y'all know okay we're going in with the juvia's concealer today i don't know why it's so hard for me to use any other concealer I guess if you just have a favorite, you have a favorite. But because I try so many different products, it's hard for me to just get stuck on one. But honey, I cannot shake this Juvia's Concealer. It is my absolute favorite. And when people tell me they don't like it or it don't work for them, I just be looking like, it's something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I love, love, love this concealer. It's so bomb. So. Anyway, I am uh, going to go ahead and set this concealer using my DJ's Unique Boutique Loose Setting Powder. I do use the shade Honey to set my face, and so that's what we're going in with today. Decided to use a brush to apply this powder. It's just a brush and powder kind of day, and just applying it to all my concealed areas as usual. So now with this face, I am thinking, you know, I want to go in with my KVD foundation powder. Another item that I have completely fallen in love with and it's hard for me to not use it when I sit down and do my face. It just works so well. I feel like the shade is perfect for me and it sets my foundation beautifully so another item that just stays in the drawer now this is my new minted bronzer in the shade yacht life another item that i'm pretty sure is going to stay in my drawer for a while because i've fallen in love with this as well the shade of this bronzer it just works for me it applies nicely i like how it blends out I've tried it with several different types of brushes and 
I love it each and every time. So yeah, this is easily, quickly becoming a favorite bronzer of mine. Now, I'm sorry, you guys. I know the lighting is not the best, but you know, I just wanted to go ahead and continue on and work with what I have to give you guys a final look. So as you can see, I am bronzing myself like it's the middle of summer, okay? So for blush, I'm just using my Revolution Pro Trio. This is the cranberry one. And I'm just going in, you know, as you can see here, applying some of that blush. The highlighter from this trio, I don't know. It wasn't as aggressive or as bold as I thought it would be. It was really nice and subtle today. Maybe it was because I was using a different type of brush, but you know, it was nice and subtle today. So I'm going in to finish my eyes with this purple eyeliner out of this ColourPop gel liner kit that I bought during the holiday sales. I love their gel liners, so I knew I would like these. Going back into the palette, pulling that deep, deep, dark purple shade Vintage and just using a pencil type brush to apply that on my lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Definitely have to have an inner corner pop with this bold purple look. Now this AC, what is it, ACI 20 from Adept Cosmetics out of the Ninhydrin palette. Yo, these shadows for inner corner pops, y'all, you just can't beat them. If you want to look amazing, try out these Adept, um, the Iridescence, I think that's what they're called. Try those out because they are so gorgeous. So for my lashes, I'm trying out this ColourPop mascara. Don't really have a firm thought about it currently, but I like it so far. So this is it, you guys. I'm so sorry that, you know, the lighting went out, but this is what we have. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, I've changed locations again. The power actually came back on as soon as I finished my complexion. I mean, right when I was getting ready to do my setting spray, the power was coming back on. So, crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, that was an experience. I'm glad it was still a little bit of daylight outside because I was able to move over there to do my complexion, get a little bit of light for y'all, and then, you know, we're back in action. So, yeah, this is the final look. I used, what, like three purple palettes today, but I love being able to just pick and choose the different shades of purple that I wanna use at the time. Love how this came out. Um, so yeah, this is it today, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> watching me create this look. Sorry about the back and forth with the lighting and stuff, but we still worked it out, okay? So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed to your girl. And I'll see you on the next video. Toodles!